This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They provide completed PCB assembly service with worldwide free shipping and ISO 9001 quality control system. Also, on their site there is an online Gerber viewer where you can upload your Gerber and drill files to render your board. So, if you want to make a PCB for your electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice for you. Visit their website and www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a frequency meter, also known as a frequency counter, is a device or instrument used to measure the frequency of an oscillating signal. Frequency meters can come in different forms ranging from simple handheld devices to sophisticated laboratory equipment. The frequency meter presented in the video displays the frequency in digital form on a Retrolux 7 segment display module with 8 digits. In one of my previous videos I presented a way of making such an instrument using an Arduino that had measurement range of 0 to 6 MHz. This time the frequency meter uses an inexpensive STM32 microcontroller and this time, thanks to his better performances, the frequency range is from 0 to 30 MHz and therefore it is ideal for use in high frequency radio devices. The code is taken from the RCL radio site where you can view the original project. I left out the input part of the original project for the shake of simplicity and now the input signal can range from 0.5 to 3 volts. We can simply increase this range with a voltage divider uh, at the input consists of two resistors. Autoviz STM32 is a 32-bit ARM microcontroller developed by ST Microelectronics and Arduino bootloader can be installed on it and it can be used as a standard Arduino. The Arduino ID application can be used for writing, compiling and uploading code to the microcontroller board. This time we will not dwell on the method of installing and uploading the code because we can find many detailed tutorials on the internet. The device is really simple to build and consists of several components. STM32F103C6 or STM32F103C8 microcontroller board. Next, 8 digit 7 segment display module and one 100 nanofarad input capacitor. And now let's test the device in real conditions. First, I will use this rectangular signal generator for which you can find instructions for making in one of my previous videos. I will generate some stored frequencies in memory of the generator. As can be seen, the frequency of the generator and the frequency meter differ for a certain minimum value. Uh, but since this is a not laboratory professional device, we don't know 
uh, whether the fault is with the generator or the frequency meter. However, this is a very small difference and can be ignored. Always, the frequency meter can be wrongly calibrated in the code inline timer one base. Next, I will measure the frequency of the sinusoidal signal at the output of this old tone generator. And finally a short conclusion. This is an incredibly inexpensive measuring device, the total cost of which does not exceed five dollars, and is a and is an indispensable instrument in any laboratory. For reliability and universality, it is necessary to add a simple passive or active circuit to the input to increase the input voltage range. The device is embedded in a suitable miniature box, miniature box made of PVC material and lined with self-adhesive co colored wallpaper.